So tell us, what is Catalyst Media? Why did you start it, and what are you doing with it? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, originally, uh, Catalyst started as a television production company and a film company, um, which is sort of, I, when I was doing the 70s show and things like this, I just kept watching and trying to figure out how to get the job of the guy who was paying my check. And so I gradually <laughs> figured that out and figured out that was the producer. And, uh, and then when, uh, as, as digital media started to grow and we could actually watch video online, I thought that was a really intriguing space. So we built this, uh, this sort of new media division um, that it really operates as a studio for social media. So what we try to do is we use brand insights and we develop stories inside of the social web uh, to develop consumer networks uh, for these individual brands. Well, what kinds, uh, uh, the idea of starting a, in effect, a brand marketing company, a content-based brand marketing company, um, is uh, not a usual thing for somebody who's got your background. So, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that we're a brand marketing company. I, we're really a studio. So, we, we create programming and, and strategies, but we work with, uh, at, you know, ad agencies of all, you know, creative agencies, media agencies, digital agencies, because we, we really are sort of serve an additive function for all of them. Well, so what kinds of conversations are you having with, uh, with agencies and marketers? You're able to get in and talk to a lot of people. So you're probably getting insights about social media and the way uh, marketers want to think about social media that a lot of other folks aren't necessarily getting. So what, what kind of intelligence can you give us from the marketer and agency side? Well, I think, I think uh, first of all, it's, it's this sort of unknown frontier. Right, uh, it, it, people are spending more and more time within the social web on Facebook and Twitter and all these spaces where they're communicating with their friends and sharing media with one another. And it's just, it's a slightly unknown frontier. Like how do we advertise in it? And, and that it, being a new frontier is something we're really excited about because anytime there's, there's a new landscape that you can go into and, and find ways to reach people, you can be a leader. And so what we're really trying to do is lead the movement into that space. Um, like, like I said, people are spending more and more and more time. It, it's just col time's collapsing over. And you can't use traditional advertising models inside of those spaces. Uh, so what we're trying to do is build bottom-up strategies where we reach out to the consumers of the products and get their insights into what do they want to see from the brands, how do they want to work with the brands? And so we take the insights of, of the marketers and we take the insights of the consumers and we sort of bring them together in a, in, into uh, content beds, um, which, which really allow people to feel like they own the brands, like they're a part of the brands, like the, the brand is speaking directly to them in a one-to-one -one conversation and then they're speaking back to the brand. And, and I think what we're finding is that people really uh, appreciate those insights. From the brand side, they learn more about their consumer. They mm -hmm. learn more about what they can do to reach them. And, and from a consumer side, they, they really get to own these products that, they, that, 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 they're, that are filling out, out their lives. You get, kind of get it like almost this voluntary ongoing focus group. Yeah. Uh, that really gives you in those insights. It's a continual focus group, and, and, it, and it helps you continually change the media, right? So instead of delivering a commercial, right, that's just straight away, and, and and then getting feedback on it afterwards or waiting to see what the results are going to be. You deliver a, an ad message or an, a, an, you know, a piece of messaging from your company, and the audience immediately tells you, we like that. Th mm -hmm. This we attach to. We get that. And then they throw you something back and help you grow your campaign. Hmm. I know we have an example, I think. So uh, why don't we take a look at that, and then I can kind of ask you some, some details on that one. Yes, certainly. Um, can, we, can we run, uh, I guess it's not a videotape, whatever the video. There's, it, there is a video. I think it's just uh, uh, it's the Kellogg. It's, it's the video, Kellogg, right? Kellogg Feeding America. I heard a voice back there saying which one. It's the voice of God. Is that your stomach growling? You must be hungry. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? I'm hungry. Are you hungry? I am hungry. Hey, are you hungry? Yeah! Con hambre. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. 
Are you hungry? You look really hungry. So how about now? I am so hungry. Are you hungry? Hungry? Hungry. Well, eat something. Then go eat something. I want to eat. 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 Well then, eat. 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 Ooh, ooh, ooh. Good stuff. Eat. Eat something. <laughs> eat something. Well, some people can't eat. Some people can't. Well, some people. Some people can't. Some can't eat. Some of us some can't eat. Can. Some people can't. Some people can't. cereal production to Feeding America, the nation's leading hunger relief organization. Kellogg's donation of 3.5 million pounds of cereal amounts to more than 55 <coughs> million servings. Go to the Kellogg Cares fan page on Facebook to become a fan and find out ways that you can help. Are you hungry? That's great. That's great. Well, uh, thank you. I want to... First, first of all, I want to thank Kellogg's for their courage to actually make a campaign like that and trust us to manage it for them. Yeah, what did you do? Tell us how this came about. Well, well, uh, we started out. You know, Kellogg's wanted to do something inside of this space, and they wanted to figure out what you know how how to how to sort of activate this social media, and they and they already had this program with Feeding America that they were doing, and and we felt like we could create a, a consumer network for them based on that. And, and you called them, or they called you, or uh, Jason Goldberg, Somebody your called somebody, right. and we said yes. Okay. Uh, uh, so, so, so then, you know, we say, the idea was is we could make a video, right, that was just us. But then, you know, then you put it out there, and you're sort of, that's like old broadcast push model, mm -hmm. right? And then we could go out, and we could, use all of the wonderful things that Google can do and spray this video everywhere and see what we get. Or we can actually advocate for the consumers to create the content themselves. So we created a script or an outline of what we wanted to do and put it out into the, into the social universe of the web. And, and, then, and where did you did that on Facebook? We did it via Twitter, via Facebook, via multiple tools and mm -hmm. said, listen, we're trying to do this thing. We're trying to help these people. Because it, it's really an advocacy platform. Like the social web is a place where advocates go to, to make things happen on, on their behalf. And what we're trying to do is turn those people who are advocating into people who are advocating for brands that they believe in. Or brands that are standing by things that, that 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 they personally are connected to. So we we went out to them and basically gave them the script, and they started sending in videos. And then my wife, uh, who's a pretty fantastic director, cut 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 it together with the oh. messaging and the brand insights that Kellogg wanted to have inside of the content. And then we used that and syndicated that piece of content back into the social web and used that to create a consumer network for Kellogg's of a quarter of a million people that now Kellogg's can go in and they can remarket to that audience, right? They can monetize that audience, and, they, and, and, and that network will just continue to build, and they have a one-to-one -one communication with their audience. 